It's an empty field along Interstate 80 and Richards Boulevard in Davis, but in a few years, it could look like this, the proposed Nishi Gateway Innovation Park, comprising of research space and 650 housing units. There's a critical housing shortage in Davis right now. The other component is the research and development component. These, these startup companies are leaving town. And with those companies are thousands of jobs, says landowner and developer Tim Ruff. He believes Nishi could return them to Davis and spur the city's economy. 1.4 million annually to the city is the estimate, um, $400,000 annually for the schools. It'll bring $385 million in annual economic activity. It's a lot of voodoo economics. Longtime resident and attorney Michael Harrington says he's leading the charge against Measure A. Why are we doing this? because these two extremely well-connected political local families want the money. One of the big concerns from the opposition is adding more traffic to an already congested area. If you live or work in Davis, you know making your way off the freeway and onto Richards Boulevard, you can hit quite a bit of backup going into downtown. Traffic, uh, unaffordable housing, uh, there's going to be a big gridlock at uh, Richards and uh, I love drive. But Ruff says before he can even get the project off the ground, the city is requiring him to build new infrastructure to tackle that very issue. One is a new interchange at Interstate 80 and Richards Boulevard. And the second is a brand new access road to campus. Four to five years of awful construction at a main entrance to the city. Why are we doing that? For what, 640, 650 units? Voters have just over a month to decide. In Davis, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.